Yo, what's going on internet? Today I want to sort of do a video on sort of more motivation and sort of just having a discussion about the idea of how do you break through the establishment and sort of uh, create space for yourself. I had a conversation with a few artists about the idea of how establishments and sort of the higher institutions and sort of these creative spaces that have been around for a long time and sort of operated by individuals that are sort of maybe divorced from your sort of area of the art world or sort of just, you know, a lot older in generation or just, you know, they just may not know about exactly the work you do. So, we, you know, we had a conversation and really it sort of willed down to the idea of making projects so great and so big and sort of uh, so uh, successful that they have to take notice. Uh, mainly because a lot of these establishments and places and institutions will make um, programming and sort of create a space to where, you know, they can curate it. Um, but they also sort of take in artists and take in creatives to sort of um, fill those spaces up. And, you know, these spaces are everywhere and they're in the community. So when you're an artist and you're creative, a lot of times we grow up and we sort of are sort of groomed to think that we have to sort of be in that space or be in this institution uh, to get to that space where, you know, a lot of us nowadays have seen examples and understand how artists can now sort of create their own projects to be so big that now the projects that we did uh, on our own, sometimes self-funded, sometimes we have partners, however you want to do it, uh, we create projects big enough and successful enough that, you know, these projects are now sort of taking over some of those spaces that the higher institutions and those establishments sort of uh, occupy at the, same, at the same time. So now we're both occupying those spaces. So that's when those institutions and organizations and sort of establishments sort of come to you because now you are forced to be reckoned with. Now they see you as an individual. Sometimes that is, I would say, as competition, but someone that, you know, is on that level that can actually sort of put these projects together and sort of make that noise and make waves because it's successful because it impacts the community. People, other people are taking notes. The people that they're trying to get note, uh, get some um, sort of attention from are the same people that you're getting attention from. And they're saying, oh, they didn't need us. So now we have to go uh, see what they're all about. So creating that space for yourself and sort of uh, figuring out those projects that you can do to actually force yourself into those uh, spaces and occupy that space and sort of take it over as, as your own um, to where you don't need the institution or the establishment. It's great um, to work with them because we want to sort of like build a more positive arts community, a creative community. So it's great to sort of work with them, but you don't actually need uh, to do, it's a lot harder though. You know, you really have to figure out, you know, the funding, the resources, you know, the partnerships, you know, being sort of uh, given the green light for, for a lot of the things. So it takes a lot of things aligning um, together for sometimes that to even happen. That's why a lot of artists don't do it. That's why it's very difficult uh, because a lot of institutions already have that. So really it's a lot about, you know, cutting through the noise by actually creating your own space. Almost like the movie, um, if you build it, they will come. So think about an artist like Fiaster Gates who created a museum from an abandoned sort of bank in Chicago, or the artist JR who does these large scale sort of community photography projects around the world. So they sort of grab people's attention, people sort of, uh, sort of energy and sort of, you know, they create their own space. So definitely um, let's have a discussion about that. So throw your comments in the comment section and make sure at the end of the video, you like, subscribe and hit that bell notification uh, so that I can keep making videos like this. So I will see you next time. Peace.